Hey, hey, welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. Previously, I started from San Gen Time, I got my Repel, got my Extra Fan, and got through the Orberg Gate, did lots of shopping, got myself a Zubato named Ah, and I beat Madeline. The last one was very. Oh, wait, there's more. Oh, I gotta press start, don't I? So I can look at every other day if I want to. So, yes, now that we're back, we gotta get through the Orberg Gate. Oh, I thought he was a trainer. The sparkly new Poketch, your awkwardness as a traveler. You're still pretty new, huh? But it's all good, you're a new fellow friend of Pokemon. So let me make a gift of this HM to you. Wait, he's not gonna question. This is a very dangerous cave. I mean, Madeline was in this cave too. She got her badge and everything. A Pokemon learning Rock Smash can smash more boulders in the field. But the trainer has to have the gym badge from Orberg City. If you don't have that badge, that Pokemon won't listen to ya. Ah, so even if I can give Rock Smash to one of my Pokemon, it's not gonna work yet. I need the gym badge. And let me guess, there are trainers waiting for me in the cave. What is going on here? Why are there kids waiting for me inside the cave? I don't understand. But you know what, if that's what they wanna do, that's fine with me. Let's go Boodoof! Oh wait, wrong Pokemon to send out. I'm gonna send out Flopper instead. But I can't wait to catch more Pokemon, I can't wait to get my first gym badge and everything. But the thing is, how come it's okay for me to go inside a cave? I mean, I know there were children younger than me. I'm battling one right now, I'm battling a young child inside a cave, yet I'm fine with it. I mean, I don't think I've been to a cave before, and if I have, did my mom take me through a cave? Because if my mom took me through a cave, I have many questions. Why did my mom take me to a cave? I'm perfectly fine going through a cave, aren't I? But you know what? I can't bring up stuff like that. That's just really weird. Shinx doesn't have electric attacks right now, right? Oh, it's not very effective. No worries, Flupper is strong enough. Got the good old quick attack. If wing attack doesn't... Oh, man. Flupper's not strong at... Oh! Are you kidding me? That smiling little thing is going down. Let's go, losing. Yeah, glow up the cave. Blow it up, glow it up. You gotta blow it up with the glow. I freaking love how it glows up when you send it out. Like, imagine trying to sleep with Luzen in your bed. Like, Luzen's on your bed. You're sleeping. Luzen just sleeping at the end of the bed. In the middle of the night, it just glows so bright, you can't go to sleep. Luzen just wants to sleep on the bed. All of a sudden, it's way too bright. Oh wait, let me guess, another Zubat? More screaming? Nope. Psyduck! Oh, I gotta get you, buddy. I gotta get myself that, I love, I love Psyduck. I don't know why, but I really love Psyduck from the anime, you know, Misty Psyduck, where it just gets headaches all the time, and when it does get that headache, it becomes OP as heck. That's how it works in the anime, that when Psyduck gets a headache, then the psychic attacks work, but if it doesn't have a headache, it can't attack, it can't even do a water gun. I mean, it can do Tail Whip, but that's it. But I do love Psyduck, I love that goofy yellow duck so much. Ooh, that was so close right there. Oh no! I can't burn the Psyduck right now! Say yay yay yay! All right, time to catch ya, buddy. Let's go, Pokeball. Let me catch the little hairs on the top of your head. And perfect. Got myself a Psyduck. And if you're not aware, for every Pokemon I catch, I will do a 30-second quick drawing of it, and it will join the others if I put it in my team. Well, you know what? Let me see. What can I name ya? I'm gonna call ya. Oh, I know what to call ya. 
gonna call you a little headache over here. How about that? Little headache. I mean, I don't know why. It just reminds me of the cider from the anime. Oh, I can't put you in the team. Ah, so I gotta go to a PC first. Well, that's what I get for learning from Sword and Shield. Oh boy, it's- Ah! Another child! I mean, I can walk around you. To celebrate my getting through this cave, I'm gonna battle you. You didn't leave the cave though, you're at the end, but you didn't get through. You're a liar, Diana. How dare you lie to me? Whoa. Okay, okay. Okay. Life lesson learned. Do not mess with Diana. Don't ever mess with Diana right there. She will bring out her OP level 9 Badoo. I am surely screwed if I'm not careful here. Man, Badoo Doof can't even be Badoof. I don't know what's going on here. You know what? Time to bring out my A game. Ormondo! Oh wait, I just wonder. What is the first gym leader? I mean, I know we're going to Orberg City, but... The one thing I get from it is that or means rock, so the first gym leader might be rock. And if that's the case, Armando is gonna be a big ol' oof right there, so I think Boodoof is my only chance. Wait, Psyduck is water type. I think I have more chances. Boodoof can do water sport! Too bad that doesn't hurt anybody. That won't hurt anybody, not even Diana. Losing is something to commemorate, too. You're right. Congratulations! You lost! Here we are. Wow, that was quick. Orberg City, here we are. The City of Energy. I mi oh, great. Another battle. Howdy, trainer. Huh? Uh-oh. You don't have a single gym badge? You better do something about that. I'll take it to the gym. No, no way! Imagine we go to the gym. He forces me inside. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, there's someone there. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> All right, how about I deposit one Pokemon, one that I'm not gonna use, so Tater Todd, I'm sorry, you gotta go, and I'll bring out Headache. I feel like that'll be a good change. What's up, Nathan? Huh? Huh? -huh? Oh, it's you, Pixel, so you finally got here? You're slow like always, but anyway, the gym leader is tough, like seriously serious. If the gym leader is this tough, I wonder how he compares to my dad. Wait, you have a dad? Huh? I just drifted there. Anyway, the leader's gone off to the coal mine. If you want to take on the leader, you better go off to the mine. Oh man, I can't wait to become a miner. The Orberg Mining Museum coal mining in you? I mean, if I go in here, can I learn about mining coal? Oh man, what are you- This is a tiny museum! Which way is the mine? Up ahead, there's a huge mountain that towers above everything. It divides Sinnoh into two distinct halves. That does not help at all, but I think I'm getting close now. They're digging for coal under the sea as we speak. It's amazing how they do it. Actually, this is- Oh, it's a Machop! It goes Pigyu! I mean, so do I, but you don't hear me saying it. But I find this pretty cool that I see the coal moving everywhere. Oh wait, can I just take these two? I'm just gonna take them. Nobody say anything, not even that guy with the yellow hat. It appears to be some sort of implement made long ago. Wow, that's really helpful. I'm glad I checked it out. Goo woo go go goo! Me too, Machop, me too. And here we are at the mine. Oh, I can't get through here. Oh wait, we got a Pokemon here. Is it a Zubat? Oh, it's a Geo dude! Screaming at the ceiling as always. You know what? I think Boodoof would be way more helpful here. I mean, my Starly's weak against Rock, Armando's weak against Rock, so I guess Boodoof is my only, my only help over here. Mudsport, electricity. Who the heck would use electricity in a cave? I mean, Perkso, how do you think the lights work? I don't know. Well, why would a rock type do that, though? I have no idea. Wow, that actually... That did so well right there. Alright, I guess I'm gonna catch my own floating rock. I mean, you heard about pet rocks, right? 
I'm gonna get my pet rock, but my pet rock moves. It has arms, it has a face, it's got everything. Wait, does a Geodude have a stomach? I mean, the body is where the face is, so... How does the body of that rock work? Like, the... Um, I don't want to question it anymore. I don't want to question it. I'm gonna call your face. How about that? You are just a face with arms. There we go. Just hopping around right there. Like, oh, it's about perspective. Everyone that works in a coal mine keeps their own Pokemon with them. You may be challenged to battles. Ha 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 ha. And then this girl will start bothering me, right? This girl is gonna be like, put him up. Put him up, you're gonna lose. I mean, just like Diana, she might be a Diana. Beware of Diana. You know, maybe teaching somebody Rock Smash would help out, maybe Teeth? All right, that was easy. Maybe Teeth can help out. You know, it's a normal type, so it's not really that strong, but maybe Rock Smash could help out in a pinch. Because all I see here are nothing. But you, dudes. Oh, so we go deeper inside. Gotcha. How deep can we go? Are you a trainer? I met these Machop on Route 207. They've now become my most trusted partners. Chop Macho. These Pokemon don't know their own names, do they? They go Chop Chop. What about one that says Machop? Wait. I snuck my Pokemon to work. Wait. This guy should get arrested. Fire him. Fire him. He did not follow the rules! Wait, it's just a rock. What do you mean snuck your Pokemon in? Don't these Pokemon work too? What? He made it sound like he had a whole team, but it's like, huh, I snuck, I snuck my rock in. I carried it into work and they were like, what is that? I was like, I was carrying a boulder from my house. And they went like, oh. Like, yeah, what an excuse. Like, you dude is a working Pokemon. This cave is full of it. What do you mean I snuck my Pokemon in? <laughs> Alright, Boodoof, just absorb. I mean, we're gonna get through this cave using one absorb at a time. And training up Headache as well. You know, just as a backup. I got a water Pokemon and a grass Pokemon. It's gonna be nice. Gotcha, Mason. Well, now aren't you something? So when he means something, I literally started my adventure like... Less than two hours ago, he's been working for years, and he has a level 9 Geodude? I'm confused about that. Alright, just a quick battle on my break. It's my 10th break today. I mean, the thing is, they've been working for so long, yet they never trained their Pokemon once. That I do not understand. I guess they don't take Pokemon seriously like I do. I'm the only one who takes Pokemon seriously. I want to become the very best because I don't want to work. That's what it means to be a Pokemon trainer. I refuse to work, so all I do is train and make money gambling on my Pokemon to win. You see, Pokemon battling is a lot like gambling. So the more I win, the more money I make. Yes, headache leveled up. I just wonder when it's gonna learn Water Gun. And Boodoof as well. Alright, Headache, come on out. This Pokemon is gonna be a little bit different. It's actually one of the working Pokemon. So if I take this one down, it's gonna be a work violation. Because the Machop is actually one of the workers. If I take it down, then they have to shut the whole place down because one of the workers got hurt while working. Flap those wings, I'ma chop again. Nice. It all works out. Taking a skinny muscle man and flapping your wings at him. Ooh, so close. Mercy, I cry mercy. That's right, cry. Macho. Macho, macho chop. I wanna be a macho chop. Wow. Holy heck, that is a big old snake right there. I... I gotta catch ya, you know that. Look at this. Giant Rock Snake versus Little Grass Girl. Who wins? It's insane how much this Onyx, this gigantic rocky snake, is losing to a little, 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 little lady. And you know what? Let's go catch it. 
Pokeball, let's go! Let's go get myself an Onyx! Oh, this one's gonna be tough to catch, isn't it? Of course it is. And it's just binding it. It's tackling it while strangling it with its tail! It's rocky little tail! You do not touch a lady like that, Onyx! Get your tail away from her! And... Nice! I always worry that bigger Pokémon are tougher to catch, but... Eh, that's all in the past. Right now, I got myself an Onyx! It burrows through the ground at a speed of 50 miles per hour while feeding on large boulders. So you hear that? It eats the Geo dudes. Dark, isn't it? I mean, just imagine that though, this whole time, it's just eating boulders. Many of them could be Geo dudes, so... That could... that is real dark right there. Oh, can I smash a rock? No, I just wanna smash a rock! One little step, and there's already an... Ah! It's a rugged rock, but a Pokemon may be able to smash it. I mean, you're telling me I can't, you know, pick up my Bidoof and, you know, never mind. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move rock smash, a boulder block in your way. Whoa! Fallen boulders need to be smashed or they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me! He just leaves. We can... We can... We can battle right now, you know! I guess not. Wait, I just realized this right here is all the coal. You mean... The mine is that tiny because they already found the mother load of all coal. Man, that is way more than you can find in Minecraft. No way. I'm pretty sure you can find so much coal in Minecraft, you get sick of the stuff. I'm not an expert at Pokemon or Minecraft. Yeah, the mine was very tiny. I mean, all of that just getting coal from a giant rock. That must be the easiest job ever! Man, that was a fun field trip to the mine and all. I got to beat up some grown men, got their money, got to take some rocks, you know. Whoa! Howdy, how's it going, champ to be? That's what I said to a really impatient boy earlier, too! The gym leader is a user of rock type Pokemon. Well, listen, rock type Pokemon really hate water, alright? They're also weak to grass type moves. Gee, they sure have weaknesses, but don't think it'll be easy. You don't get to be a gym leader without covering for weaknesses. Going after a rock-type Pokemon with a fire-type Pokemon won't be easy either. That's all the advice I can give. Thanks for listening. I mean, wait, I could just skip on over? Holy heck, you know what? This is crazy to look at. All the 3D on my DS is insane to look at. You avoided the long way around? Let's see why you do that. Because I am not skipping a 10 year old or a 9 year old or Jonathan the 4 year old I don't know I mean how old am I and how do how old are they how long did my mom keep me away from Pokemon this whole time I mean I look closer to a teenager than these kids do yet I started being a trainer way too late I guess but now that Boodoof is level 10 this little lady Learn Stunt Spore, which I think will help in the long run, just in case. But for now, we are going to suck the life out of them. We are going to leech their life. They are going to wish they have never messed with us at all. And we're going to start with this Geodude right here. Let it get poisoned. Beautiful. Get try to defend yourself. Ha, you wish. And Hedic learned Water Gun, beautiful! Now the duo is ready to fight! Well, Jonathan is down. Now, we, now I understand. I'm easy. You are very easy, dude. Wait, why does... Wait, why does the gym leader have two little kids that look the same in here? I want both of you to wear blue hats, red shirts, blue shorts, blue shoes, and I want you to be Jonathan and you to be Darius. Darius? I mean, I'll never understand the naming of these children. They got cooler names than mine. I mean, any name is better than Pixel. Trust me on that. Holy heck! Headache? Headache is out there to kill. Headache is going to kill! Well, he can't really kill. We're just wetting the rocks. 
We are literal, literally just wetting up rocks over here. I want to see it happen again. I mean, the water gun does look really good, though. It reminds me... At, you know, it reminds me of the time when you're younger and you're going through the sprinklers or going to the park and going to that sprinkler. Like, the water just looks very good. I don't know. It's bringing back memories. And I just humiliated Darius. I'm very sorry. Well, welcome. This is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rark, the gym leader. Wow, that's a better name than Pixel. I am but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Wait, the gym leaders do animations too? Oh, that's pretty cool! Oh, I need to know what other Pokemon games do that. I thought the rival only did animations. But anyway, let the gym battle begin! This Geodude is going down for sure. Oh my goodness, one hit KO. You just got doused in pain water. Head water. Delicious head water. Isn't it great though? Alright, next up is Onyx! Ooh, level 12 though. Wait, Stealth Rock? What does that do? Pointed stones float in the air around my team. Oh, that might be a trap. Don't worry, Headache, you- Look at that, look at that. Headache, Headache, Headache is bringing the pain over here. Roark is going to have a headache. Why? He's gonna think why he's losing to a duck. To a duck! Kranidos? Where's Cranidos or Cranidos? Oh! Hello! Think you can take down the next Pokemon like you did earlier? Cranidos? It looks very cute though, I like it! But you know what? We gotta try- Wait, Pursue? Oh, you think that- Oh! You think that's gonna stop us? There we go! Super effective too! Oh no, not Headbutt though, I know what Headbutt the Headache! Oh, you are going down. Just because your head is stronger doesn't mean anything. Let's go, little lady. There. Oh, the stealth rock at work. Oh, yes, we got the quick claw advantage. Go for the stunts for little lady. Beautiful. Now you're paralyzed. We are going to win. Oh, great. Not headbutt again. Come on. Oh, my goodness. It's really shocking me right now. Wait a minute. Teeth. Teeth's got the rock smash. It's gonna work out very well. And the paralyzation works. Oh, wait, the speed drops. No, the fence drops. That's even better. Oh, come on. Holy heck. That headbutt, though. I am flipping impressed. That headbutt. I mean, I can see why it hurts. No way, not yet. Not giving up. That head looks crazy difficult. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Imagine he used a full restore. That would be crazy right there. We just gotta keep it up. I do not have a revive. If I lose here, I lose here. Come on, Flopper. Holy heck, it's one hitting my team. I... This can't be the end. This is not the end. Why isn't the paralyzation working? Wait, the Intimidate. Perfect. We gotta drop your defense as well. We gotta do everything we can. Come on, Luzan. Oh my goodness, you actually survived. I would never think I would have difficulty like this on my first gym battle. But here we are. Why? How? How? Oh my goodness! Why isn't the paralyzation working? It's hitting every move! Why isn't it paralyzed? Am I getting- am I getting that unlucky? Now it's using Pursuit. Great! I got one chance at this, one- I missed! I missed! But Luzen didn't! Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous! It... It missed the attack! How? 
How is that possible? Come on, let the ember work. That did not work. Oh, now it's paralyzed. Come on, Armando, just keep burning it. This is not great. This is not great, Armando! Oh my goodness. Armando is surviving, though. This is... I don't know what to expect. I gotta take down Cranidos, Cranidos, whatever, however you pronounce it. Cranberries! If I catch one, I'm calling you Cranberry. Oh, there we go. I think I got a chance. I know, I'm... I'm just stalling right now. If I lose, then that's a lot of potions wasted down the drain. But why can't it miss? It needs to miss immediately. I mean, I'm gonna use them all, why not? I'm just waiting for the shot in which I can attack. Just be paralyzed, just be paralyzed! Why won't you be paralyzed, Kranidos? This is ridiculous, my last potion. I'm betting it all on this right now, one big bet. Let's do it, come on. Dang it! I was hoping to be paralyzed. All right, you know what, time to fight. One scratch. I did it, I did what I could. I'm sorry, Armando, I'm so sorry. I can't believe it. I lost against Kranidos. Ah, that stinks. I thought I had a chance. But you think I'm giving up here? Heck no, I'm not giving up. We're going back there right away. But I should stock up too because I wasted all my potions. <laughs> I never would have thought I would have difficulty against the first gym leader. I thought Badoof and Headache would do it. But... Please tell me I'm not the only one who has dealt with this, though. Please tell me that there are others in the comments. Oh, he's wasting his potion there, really? Alright, you know what? Fine, that's fine with me. But please, let me know if you also had trouble with Roark. I mean, I guess it's my fault for choosing the only type that's weak against rock types. I chose Chimchar, so I gotta get through with the consequences, right? But man, look at that though. Boodoof is working it out well. I think Boodoof's got this. Really, you're gonna screech at my Boodoof? You wish that would work. Just steal the life out of that giant rock snake, why not? Every single rock in its body must be feeling extremely weak. Oh wait, now it's attacking? You threw a rock? Oh my goodness, that rock really hurts! What, did you throw a piece of your tail or something? Imagine that, use rock throw! Onyx throws its body at you! I mean, technically that's right. Oh man, that was not expecting Boudouf to actually be in that much danger right now. But Boudouf did level up pretty well. I'm gonna heal up one of my own. So Teeth is gonna be a meat shield right now. Oh, it's happening. We're gonna win this battle. I'm not going to lose again. Then I cut to five minutes later when I do lose again. Like as an embarrassment. Oh, you are going down, buddy. Let's go losing. Let's use that Intimidate. Gotta be a bit smart with what we're doing here. Then, how about we try that leer? Oh, you wanna have a leer down! You wanna have a stare down with your eye right there, right? Alright, leer down it is! We're gonna be staring at each other until the end of time. Not anymore! Dang! I was hoping to get one more leer, but no worries, Boodoo is stronger than ever. This lady is gonna take you down. Okay, you're just giving me an attack. Alright, I think this can work. I think this can work. I got myself a good shot right now. Alright, you're paralyzed. I gotta be smart. Let me try using a growth. Maybe if I raise my special attack, that could work. But, yeah, that's it. That's all I can do right now. Come on. Alright, I gotta bet on this absorb. 
just steal the life force! All the life! That's not all the life, though. Oh, come on. Please don't take it down. Don't take it down. No, Badoof! Oh, I was not expecting that. All right, Headache, you're in charge. I gotcha. Come on, just root with me. Root, with, root for me. Root with me. Do something. We got to do this, Headache. Just splash it with that water. Whoa! Whoa! Are you kidding me? We're so close! No way, not yet! Not giving up! Oh, heck yeah! No! No, yes! Wait, 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 wait! This could work out! This could work! This, this could work! This could work! Yes! Yes, finally! We got through it this time! He just decided to waste another potion like it was nothing! Gotcha! What this can't be my buffed up Pokemon! I mean, he wasted two, but I wasted like five, I think, or six. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. But that's tough. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. Even though you already lost to me once. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you've beaten me the leader. Here's your official Pokemon League Cole badge. It's just a piece of rock. Oh boy, it's actual coal! Isn't this what bad kids get during Christmas? Having that coal badge means your Pokemon can now use the hidden move Rock Smash outside of battle. You should also take this too! TM76, what the that, what does that do? Ooh, Stealth Rock! It's a move that inflicts damage on foes that switch into battle. Ah, but yeah, HMs you can use forever, TMs, Break one, so I guess Sword and Shield started the never breaking TMs, I guess, or was that another game? I don't know, but either way, I got my badge and that's all that matters. Holy heck, I got my first gym badge. Hold on. Can I check it out in my badge case? Ooh, there it is. Wait. Oh my goodness, I can actually treat this like an actual badge and everything? Can I just keep on squeaking? Wait, I can actually clean it? Wait, what? My goodness, that's a cool feature right there. So I take it my next destination is up there, up north. But there are some rocks that I should smash back in the cave, so let me go do that real quick. Oh, dang it, Nathan, D -d -d don't dud me. Whoops, Pixel, you got the gym badge, huh? Eternal City is the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go there without a bicycle. I made my team battle and toughened them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to Jubilee City. Next up, the Eternal Gym Badge. 10 seconds before I dash, 9. But who's got time to count? Ah! Oh, Eternal City is through there. Ah, so that means I should train up here. Which is what I should have done before going to the gym, but... <laughs> we all make mistakes, am I right? Please tell me we all make mistakes. Wait, are those berries? Ooh, I want some berries. Oh wait, I want to see what's in here, though. Any new Pokemon for me to catch? No! Ah, so there's not much else but this mudslide. I mean, it's very fun. I keep going back to it. It's dirty, but fun. That slope's too slippery, you'll need a bike to get up. You don't have a bicycle? Heh, <laughs> loser. There's a cycle shop in Eternal City. Why, thank you, good sir. And I'll forget that you ever called me a loser. Alright, alright. Wait a minute. There's a ponytail over here? Whoa, I was not expecting that. Man, Route 207 is full of surprises. Alright, here we go, Pokeball. Man, I was not expecting a Ponyta. I was trying to train over here, then this Pokemon came out of nowhere. And I gotcha. Man, Ponyta are pretty cool and Rapid Dash too. I mean, I rarely ever use a Ponyta on my team, but I like Ponyta, they're cool. As a newborn, it can barely stand. However, through galloping, its legs are made tougher and faster. So like an actual horse, it's very tough. To be honest, this may be a weird name, but this was the first one that came up. Don't know why, but I'm gonna go with Princess. 
And would you look at that, I'm a chop as well, you kidding me? Holy heck, I gotta catch that too. So many Pokemon to draw, let me tell you. Sorry, buddy. Stop focusing, you can't focus anymore. You gotta focus on being in my team. So come on and be captured right there. I just wonder, like, the more episodes I do, the more episodes I record, does that mean I'm gonna be catching lots and lots of Pokemon? I'm always amazed how many Pokemon I have to draw. This is the third episode, and I already have to draw a lot. It's pretty cool though, but it's the fun the fun thing about it. Oh wait, all I got is a great ball left. But either way, the fun thing about this is I'm not great at drawing. I want to do this because I want to show that anybody can have fun drawing no matter what their experience. Nobody's a pro at first. You just got to keep on practicing and practicing. So who knows, at the beginning, I don't draw so well, but maybe at the last episode, when it's all done, my drawing will be a bit better. And you know what? That is an improvement right there. That's an improvement. I'm gonna call you Brawny. How about that? I like the paper towel. Brawny paper towels. And maybe, maybe Brawny should be in the team. I don't know. I kind of want a fighting Pokemon on my team. Speaking of which, there's another one. <sighs> I'm not sure who to take away though, but maybe Luzen? I don't know. It's really tough to decide that when you have when you feel like you have a good team and you have to take somebody out just to replace it with another, you know, it's not going to be permanent though. I'll switch out every now and then, you know, I'll change them every now and then. It's just really tough when you have to make a choice like that, though. Giving nicknames to Pokemon is the way to go. It makes you feel as if they're your very own. I agree, what's your name your Psyduck, though? You named it Yellow?